Hi guys, fan cams, Luke's on the line from uh, Jordan Rhodes. Um, Cleethorpes. Cleethorpes, Cleethorpes, <laughs> Luke, I mean, I mean, come on, that today, that is, that has got, that, you cannot, no, you wouldn't defend it. You wouldn't defend it, but somebody, I'm sure, will. How on earth can anybody defend that? You can't defend it, mate. Um, no, no difference from Coventry last week whatsoever. Um, all I hear from the club is just words rather than actions in mm. every essence. From the manager, from the players, from the board, it's just words. Actions are what's needed um, now, and it's just a complete write-off. It is a right. Yeah. I mean, if what what why have we not got a striker in from last Saturday? I, I understand that we have to um, focus on keeping, well, trying to keep Strawberry. But why? The the question I ask is why is he even here when we know there is going on Monday? Steve just said same in his interview. Why have we just not? Even though I don't like Murray, I'd rather have him in for this week and then Strawberry go on Monday. You just you're um, echoing exactly what Steve said. Well, it's a joke. He's not interested. Yeah. He's, he's not interested. He's got his mind on New York. So why are the players going to respond Mate, to him? What would that when, team line up? What has he has he took bit? Has he took the mick with that team line? Well, I don't know. To be fair, you know, if he goes, I'm not so bothered because at the end of the day, Luke, he only uses a stepping stone. Mm. This is what I've been saying for the past three seasons. Yeah. On mentality changes, oh on until it starts from the fans, the players, the board, the recruitment side, the backroom oh staff. Mm. We're never gonna we're never gonna favour ourselves as a club because coaches and players take the piss out of us. Yeah. You know, the, the, Woodrow today, that goal, didn't deserve that goal. No. And and, and come end, out, some people that's what I mean. Some people come out and say, Oh, it was close, it was two one. She, awful performance. They deserve to win. So yeah. Full credit to them. They they wanted it more than us. They they, they set it, they set the, themselves up well to win the game. Not denying Middlesbrough the three points, but come on, we made it easy for them. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we, Monday the transfer window ends, and we're still for me five players short. <laughs> well, the the domestic transfer window ends, but. We wouldn't have gone domestic anyway, would we? No, we'll, we'll, we'll get a farmer from Azerbaijan that's played two games for second of it. I, 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 know I'm, I know I'm taking piss, but it's not funny, Luke, now. Nah. It's becoming beyond a joke. Mate, we're embarrassing. We, we're embarrassing. Yeah, we? we are embarrassing. We are embarrassing. And as a club, we're embarrassing from top to bottom. Mm. For me, whoever's going to come in, I'd like Paul Cook to come in because, he, you know, Struber's clearly going. It's from all, from social media. Everywhere is going. I don't know why he's taking hold of this game, but we are embarrassing. And we can't attract players to come into the club from the continent. We can't attract players from the Britain to come to play for us. It just seems, you know, this this was a blessing staying in the league when Wigan got relegated. We should have used this as a chance to write. We've mm. been given a second chance. We're going to prove why we are a championship team. So, have we ultimately been lied to again then? Because weren't we're, we told by Dave Murphy we'd learn? We'd learn from the mistakes. We haven't learned this is all. worse. This could, Luke, this could be worse than last season. This... Daniel Stendhal had a better record than, than, than what we're up to now. Yeah. <laughs> and look what happened to him. He got fucking thrown under the bus. Yeah. By certain people in the club who, pro who will become the assistant coach on Monday. Mm. It seems that this, for me, I'd rather Martin Devaney have it than Murray. Well, yeah. Because he knows the club. Yeah. He's a former player. He's got the respect of the fans. He's good at promoting younger players. Yeah. He wants, he, he wants to improve himself. Yeah. For me, he didn't do enough to state that he was. You know, I know he only got two games, but for me, you know, he could tell he wasn't managing material. For me, we need Paul Cook in. He did a great job at Wigan. Um, he clearly wanted to coach in the Championship again, but he's not, he's not going to come look when he's got his hands tied behind his back. No, and that's, the, the that's ultimately the problem. I mean... I've said to you, for, you know, for me, this isn't new because I've said this to you, to numerous people that don't agree with me for the past three seasons. While this border here, the club are going nowhere. Yeah. And it might take us to go so low until the fans realise in every element, then fans that's on the fence, then fans that are happy clappers that'll 
appreciate that we're 21st in the league after four league games, that this is still good enough. As long as, as, long as, we're, as, long as we're in existence, it doesn't matter to some fans. Mm. But I want our club to be more progressive. I want us to succeed. And the, th- the thing is, I sent to the group chat that we do, Luke, Chien Lee and his consortium have a combined wealth of £7.2 billion. Pounds. And yet, where are we in the in how much we spend in terms of players? Yeah, we, we and uh, it's, it's just mate, you can't write it. I mean, how many weeks now have we been saying inve- the inve- the investment side of things? It, it needed work, and, and we've just completely. How many not... transfer windows though, Luke? It's well, not on your issue yeah. this. No, it's not. No, not on your issue this. No, you know, Stendhal didn't get back. Eckingbottom didn't get back. That's why he left for Leeds. It's yeah. the same issues in different seasons. I don't blame Struber for going. Mm. He should have been back properly and he probably would have stayed. Mm. Yeah. I don't blame him for going. You know, I don't like the way that it's been dealt with for the pure fact that why is he taking the game today? Because mm. for me, the players already knew we were going on Monday. They clearly know what's going on. I don't agree with that side of it. So why have Murphy and Conway not taken hold of it and be like, well, you're not, you're not, you're, yeah. you know, go, yeah. go now. Well, for me, mate, for me, no, no, no disrespect to him, but that side he picked today is sackable offence to me. I'm telling you, that side he picked today. I don't want to put. I don't what, didn't want to say well, it, listen, but I gave him a second chance after what he did back end of last season. Yeah. No. Mm. I mean, and, sorry, I think a bit of signal there. Yeah. The job he did back end of last season, I thought I'm going to give him a second chance, and the. I'm in between because I feel sorry that he hasn't been um, given the money that he should have been given. But at the same time, his, his team selections look just appalling. Yeah. Take Ritz Meyer and Freezer that way in because them two are not good enough for this league. I'm sorry to say they're not. And if people say give Freezer a chance, you know if somebody's a player or not. And we've got another player that we're going to have to hold on to until either we send him out on loan or until he goes with him. Mm. The only yeah. thing is I'm worrying about is if, he, if Solbauer goes. Mm. Because it'll be like, well, that's the well, only thing I'm concerned about is because I mean you've got you've got Clark Adore on bench, mate, and you're playing Callum Styles. <laughs> I mean, he's absolute you can see me. I mean, why's Walton not played? Why did Collins have to come in? No no disrespect, Collins into bad keeper, but there were there were just no need to make that change. And Ritzmeyer coming back in, he didn't get on last Saturday against Coventry. So why on earth does he start this week? Exactly. Come on. Come um, on. Well, I mean, listen, Lou, we're all in an agreement. Reading I've... Ludovic on with half an hour left at, at, at fullback. What was that about? Had a Bayajo at half time. I mean, come on. Come on there. Had a Bayajo at half time. That's what it's come to. A player that's hardly notched well, in League well, Two. Yeah, exactly. And until. You know, we've got two days left. So, Struber's going to go on Monday. And on the same day, the fans are going to be let down in terms of transfers. So, well, the thing is, though, like I said to you, Luke, this is this is all being preventable. And I don't feel sorry for the club in, in, any, in any capacity whatsoever. Mm. Only if people I feel sorry for are the fans that's paid a season ticket money to watch this on iFollow, to watch this shite for the past mm. three seasons to have to go through the same shit every season we aren't no fucking apology whatsoever yeah. and be given false promises every season saying it's, we're not going to do it again we're not going to do it again what did Murphy say after Brentford in an interview we're not going to do this again and they've gone and done it he's lied to us yeah. actions speak louder than words Luke and until they change their actions I don't listen to anything that they say because it's nothing mm. it's meaningless now until they change with action and they put the money in their own pocket or they even invest the money that they created from the club's transfers, even with Struber, he's going to get a £2 million release clause that we should receive. Mm. Until, until they start spending the money that we receive from a football club, this club is going nowhere, only downhill. Mm. And I know I'm only saying that after a game, but look, four games in, it's the same shite from last season. Yeah. The same shite from last season. It's, we were predominantly the same team that got us to that position. And we need five players on Monday, mate. And it's not going to happen. But we need a striker, a wing back, an older midfielder, a box to box midfielder, and for me, an attacking midfielder behind front man. Yeah. And that's not gonna happen. No. But, but, appalling, mate. I can't I can't there's no positives whatsoever. That goal, I'm not even gonna talk about it because it's not 
for me it was a soft penalty. So yeah. I'm not even going to talk about that goal. It, it, it ultimately feels uh, like we haven't scored. It, 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 you know what I mean? We've, we've still not scored from open play. We don't look like scoring from open play. So I'm not going to get too, too of a, about that goal. So, well, I'm going to let you crack on with your holiday then, Luke. I've got a few to go through. So um, I hope it answers well your last day. And uh, if you can hear me, I know it signals a bit funny. Uh I'm gonna let well, you I'm go. back tomorrow. I'm coming flying back tomorrow, mate. So I'll be in for more of the uh, depressing stuff on Monday when we get no players in. Yeah, yeah. Well, enjoy your last day, mate. That's all I can say. And we'll see you when you get back. All right. Enjoy, enjoy your last day, and we will see you when you get back. No worries, mate. All right, mate. Take care. See you soon. <laughs>